Welcome to hell. Yes, time to face Needleman stage. <laughs> Welcome to your favorite kind of stone, the Max Stone to the 9999 power. So this stage was way tougher than I thought. Uh, just like Pinhead. So the reference at the beginning was to the mo the Pinhead in um, Hellraiser, I think. They're old movies where this guy is like the Prince of Pain. And I don't know. I've, I've never actually seen him. But there's an iconic scene where he's like, Welcome to Hell or whatever. So I, I don't know. Anyway, true to Needleman's name. Like this stage pinpricks you to death with just all kinds of stuff. And... I had to use some energy tanks and whatnot. Gemini Man's laser is the weakness of Needle Man, and it also works on those giant porcupines really well. It only takes one shot. Gemini's Man laser, however, does take a lot of energy, so there's that consideration. <clears throat> These artillery pieces are kind of annoying. You have to move a lot to dodge them. Definitely annoying. Um, they were actually easier, I think, in Mega Man 9, but definitely it's hard to not take damage. See, that's the thing, like, everything pinpricks you, and you take a little bit of damage from this, and a little bit of damage from that, and it all adds up. So, this, this level loves to pinprick you to death, as you'll see. Here we have an opportunity to fall down the ladder to save a lot of time. Oh yeah. This part was also way harder than it should have been. I just was not good around these uh, giant needles. I I get better around them later, but they're, uh, it was hard for me not to take damage from each one, and it just it just adds up. And then before you know it, you're you're almost dead. not good here. <laughs> Maybe it was because it's I'm doing this in the morning, so I hadn't, coffee hadn't kicked in yet, I guess. So you see, I just keep taking damage from that porcupine. Like, if it wasn't for that energy tank, I wouldn't have kept fighting that porcupine, because remember I've talked about the policy, or I've talked about the philosophy of knowing when to retreat in Mega Man games. Sometimes it's better to just just get out of there and just uh, retreat. So there's a sweet spot on the top of the ladder that I didn't quite figure out. But th there is a sweet spot where if you hang on the ladder, you can get those guys and not, and not get hit by their ball and chains, which you'll see later, but I uh, had to die, though. I was much better here. I think I got through this whole part now without taking damage, so I managed to figure out how to get past the needles without taking damage. So performed a lot better. Sometimes it's, it's easy, even though you play these games a lot, you can get rusty and you end up just not performing as well as you normally would. It's just the nature of these games. You have to be on your top performance game to do well. Because uh, Mega Man... Mega Man games are definitely challenging, but they're also fair. They're very much a good test of uh, your video game skill because you have really good control in Mega Man. So basically, if you get hit, it's really your fault. Because And there's plenty of videos where people don't take damage and they play so-called perfect games. And so it's very possible to play a Mega Man game and not take any damage if you're good. So they're, they're a really good test of skill. That's part of the appeal of the Mega Man games is um, they're good tests of skill and, and they're very fair. <laughs> so Needle Man 
If you notice, he's got he'll have like a red ball in his mouth, <laughs> like masochistic or something. I don't know. It's fine, it's funny, but he's got like a red ball, a ball gag in his mouth. Appropriate, I guess, for his BDSM nature. All right. I'll probably do another special episode next to continue the story of what's going on with Proto Man. Stay tuned for Maximum Entertainment. Yeah.